So, hi there. Um, I'm Trevor. I really like comic books. Uh, the last time I got on camera, I actually talked about the Batman uh, from my uh, my friend Greg. Hi, Greg. Um, he recommended that I get back on camera and do more comic book reviews. My friend Nick. Hi, Nick. Recommended I do more... Um, different subjects. So I'm going to take advice from both of them. And I'm going to talk to you guys today about, um, uh, not a movie, but I want to talk about comics and especially comics from a very special artist, uh, Tim sale, Tim sale, um, unfortunately passed away several days ago, uh, in June of 2022. And I want to talk for a few minutes about Tim. Uh, Tim was a very important artist to me. Um, I really love his books. I love the things that he does. He did. Um, he, he made Batman not only cool, he made his Batman a, a, a monster. He made him look like a shadow. He looked, he, he made the world of Batman of Gotham city. He made it look dark and moody and it, it breathed, you know, um, when, when people said how much they love Batman begins and the, the, the crime family connections and all of that, that was from the long Halloween when they used references of Joker sitting on top of the piles of money as long Halloween. Uh, DC Animated did a two-part movie of Long Halloween. It didn't look like Tim's work, but they used Tim's work in the credits. And I wished that it looked a little bit more like Tim's work, but I know DC Animated did that with uh, Long, did that with New Frontier, and they did that with Superman, Batman, Public Enemies. Maybe not everybody liked that. I liked it, but anyway. Um. I only got to meet Tim Sale once, and he was a really nice guy. Usually the, the guys that work the convention circuit are. Um, I've only had one bad experience uh, with a celebrity. I won't say who it is, but uh, my, uh, my fiancé and I met this person. They weren't very nice to us, uh, and uh, I, I think that was pretty rude. Uh, I've had good experiences with other people. Um, Paul McGann's absolute treasure and uh adam baldwin's very nice man um uh, you know but anyway i want to talk about tim for a minute uh tim sales work um by the way here it is right there there's his batman tim worked on batman the long halloween and spider-man blue and for my money it doesn't get better than spider-man blue um, Jeff and Jeff Loeb and Tim Sale worked on these Marvel color books. Um, I have a collection of three of them right here. There's a Captain America book, which wasn't published when I picked this up. Uh, but if you're a Captain America guy, I highly recommend finding Captain America white. Um, Spider-Man blue really made me love, uh, Spider-Man all over again. Like, I had been a Spider-Man fan for a long, long, long time, uh, since I was a little boy. But, um, Spider-Man Blue made me f believe that Peter Parker was a lot like me. Um, he had problems, he had, you know, girl problems, he had, you know, money problems, and, you know, that his world was full of romance and wonder, and... It's it's like listening to an old jazz record. You can feel the the emotions and the sadness, but also the joy in every note, in every beat. And it's part of the reason why it's called blue. I mean, it's just you know you're falling in love and in and out of love, and sometimes people say you're feeling blue. Um, I feel pretty blue today actually because of uh, I'm thinking of Tim. Uh, I, I wanted to, you know, there, there are artists, there are people that you want to 
when you're going to conventions, I, I go to conventions. I like to dress up as a Ghostbuster. I like to do cosplay. There, there are uh, actors, creators I want to meet and uh, tell them how much I really like their work and get them signed. Um, I actually got to meet um, the guy that worked on Venom for a little while. Uh, he worked on uh, uh, God Killer. And I, uh, I, I never will get to see Tim Sale again. And I'm, I feel pretty bad about that because I, I really liked his work. And I, I always thought, oh, well, I'd like to see Tim Sale again, maybe get him to sign something Spider-Man related for me. Uh, and uh, I, I never will. So I, I thought I'd maybe share my, my adulation, my, my love for, for Tim Sale's work. And maybe with a little bit of luck, somebody will see this and track down one of Tim's books because I, I think that his work is really important and I think that people need to track it down to, you know, keep part of him alive. A lot of creators will never see the spotlight like, um, Marvel puts on their actors, you know, for every Robert Downey Jr. There are a thousand artists and writers who work on Marvel books all the time who will never get the attention that the movies do. And that's a shame. I mean, they work really hard and their work inspired a lot of the MCU. I mean, how many people are going to go track down um, a copy of Moon Knight from the 2000s unless somebody like me gets on YouTube and says, guys, you need to track this down. It's really good. If you liked Moon Knight, which by the way, I did like Moon Knight on Disney Plus. I don't know why people are hating on it. Anyway. I want people to see that there are reasons to keep keep this stuff alive. Without it, you know, we're going to lose a part of our cultural identity. I was on I was on Twitter the other day, which I know, stupid. I saw that Webtoons had done an advertisement that said, Comics, Literature Side Hustle, which thankfully they took down and apologized for, but I immediately knew that I could not trust them again if they, if they felt like their artists were not seen as actual work, as their, their, their work was not seen as actual literature they're going to have to work really hard to gain my trust again. Okay. Soapbox moment over. Anyway, Tim sales artwork really sells how energetic and vibrant he can make his characters. His Spider-Man for me is very much the, the Spider-Man of the generation. Like, you can look at Steve Ditko's work and it's the Spider-Man of the 60s. John Romita Sr. is the 70s. Uh, Todd McFarlane of the 80s and so on. For me, Tim Sale kind of rounds out that part of Spider-Man where it's like, if you see Spider-Man drawn by Tim Sale, that is his work. You're not going to say that it's, it's just the same artwork drawn by a thousand other Marvel artists that just do not get the same kind of recognition. Tim Sales, Tim Sales, Tim Sale. I mean, on a similar vein, his Superman, you're not going to see anybody else that has his Superman look this lantern jawed. I mean, aside from Bruce Campbell, nobody's going to have a jaw like that. So, to round this out, I just want to say, if you have the means, and I highly recommend, if you're somebody who really enjoys comics as an art form and not just a side hustle, again, Webtoon, shame on you. Shame. If you're somebody who really enjoys comics, I recommend that you pick up these books to honor the man that was Tim Sale. Superman, for all seasons. 
if you're somebody who's never been into Superman and you don't understand why people think that he's so great or that you're somebody who doesn't think Superman is an interesting character, please get this. This collection especially has three of the color series as it is known by fans. Daredevil Yellow, Spider-Man Blue, Hulk Gray. You can pick these up individually, but I recommend personally to go track down the hardcover because it has all three, and I like to have books on my shelf. I'm not a digital guy. I, If I can, I'd like to pick up physical copies for myself. And the last one, and I have a little bit of a tangent on this, so bear with me. This is what's called the Batman Omnibus. For people that don't read comics and don't collect them, DC and Marvel collect some of their series in what are called an omnibus, which is a fancy way of saying, here are several volumes of books that we sell. We put all of them together so you can buy them in this really big, gigantic book. Um, this omnibus actually has several Batman volumes published but are written by Jeff Loeb and drawn by Tim Sale. Uh, the volumes include... Haunted Night, The Long Halloween, Dark Victory, and Catwoman When in Rome. DC has also, in the recent months, released a reprinting of all four of those individual volumes as hardcovers. I'm actually going to tell you not to do that because they're valued at about $50 on Amazon the last time I checked. Just go back, find this omnibus. They usually sell it at about half the price. I picked this up for like half of what it was originally valued at. Don't spend $50 for each individual book when you can get this whole vault, this whole book at a fair price. And for those of you that are in the know and are going to say, well, wait a minute. What about the long Halloween special that was published in 2021? You can pick that up for like $7 and trust me, they're going to reprint it. They're going to put it on their digital collection. Do yourself a favor, track that down if you're a giant fan of Dark Victor, of Long Halloween. I'm always going to be the kind of person that celebrates special artists, people that I really respect and love. Um, Alex Ross, John Romita Jr. and Sr., uh, even Todd McFarlane for all of his 90ness. <laughs> but for me, Tim Sale was one of my favorites. His Spider Man was always that one character I could see in my mind's eye, and I never second guessed a line, a curve of the way that he drew an arm or a leg. The way that his Spider-Man moved, uh, his Peter Parker, his Gwen Stacy, those characters, I never had to think, well, wait, was it drawn like this or was it drawn like that? No, I never had to doubt how he drew his characters. And I'm going to miss that about him. And I want to say how much I really loved his work. And I think you'll love it, too. All right, um... I hope somebody likes this. I, I know I did. Anyway, take care.